Hey, what's up everyone? Hey, Spades here with another Overwatch guide. Today I'll be going over some basic Arista tips and concepts. So without further ado, well, let's get into this thing. So as always, as one of the main things as main tank is you need to have a mic, um, especially as Arista, since you need to be as local as possible calling your halt, which um, is your pull ability. So you need to be like, hey, Hog, I'm going for your hook. Are you ready? After he says he's ready, a 3-2 pulling over like, you know, Arista shield. So you can actually get those combos if you're just using, you know, your pull ability without letting anybody know or coordinating, you're gonna have, you know, very little success. And, you know, it's not, you're not setting your team up, you know, for victory, just, you know, not calling any of that stuff. So make sure you, uh, make sure you have a mic calling halts. Uh, call rotations since your shield is stationary. Um, your team needs to know where you're going as a fallback point. So they're not out like in Africa fighting and they're like, yo, where's my shield? And, you know, you're all the way back having to shield up so let them know that hey we're gonna fall back to you know boxes after this engage after my shields down um so they can be safe um because you're not reinhardt you can't just you know move back and forth with the shield wherever um so you want to make sure your off tank is with you especially if it's a hog since you're going to be calling for those hooks um with diva if you're if you know your shield's breaking you see you see that it's breaking like super fast and you're you know, shield's not on off cooldown yet. Ask for Matrix. So you can just sit there, you know, 180, crouch spam, be like, okay, Diva, can you Matrix me? Three, two, you see your shield's up now. Okay, cool. Put new shield up while you're still contesting space. Um, so make sure you're using, uh, you know, whatever off tank you have um, to the best of your, you know, ability. Um, just, you know, talk to them, let them know what you need. And, you know, everybody can help you that way. So let's go over some mechanics. Um, you want to play corners as much as possible. As Arissa, since your shield does have a low amount of HP, it's only 900. Um, this is this allows you to still like contest space while um, still having like you know your shield up for most like a good amount of time, and they can't really push onto you know you if you're not dead. If you're playing out in the front and your shield breaks, Arissa is really slow and immobile. So by the time you get back to any sort of cover, you're probably gonna be shot by headshot by a freaking widow. You're gonna be hooked. You're just gonna be out damaged. So make sure you're trying to play these corners uh, as much as possible. This also makes the enemy come out of position so you can get those easy hook combos um, as well as setting up your DPS to get those easy kills. Um, you always want to use all your abilities with Arissa um, with a purpose. That's why her kit is, you know, so strong. Um, for example, like, you know, her shift. You don't want to just, you know, use your shift while you're behind a shield and it's, you know, full HP. Use your shift if your shield is down when it's on, you know, waiting for it to be on cooldown. Um, that's when you want to use your shift so you can still contest space over here. Um, you can, if you need to, you know, 180, come behind shield. You're still contesting space so you're not dying. Um, use your pulled abilities only with, like, hooks. Don't just, you know, throw it out there and be like, oh, dude, like, you know, what's up? And it gets, like, absolutely no value. Um, always try and call out and take advantage of all those abilities. Um, if the Arissa you know in like Arissa versus Arissa battles when it's like Hog and stuff like that, if you make sure you're paying attention to all the abilities that are being used because if you see that the Hog had just used Hook like a couple seconds before, he's not going to have it up and if they didn't combo and the Arissa goes for you know a pull over your shield, don't waste your shift ability just on that you're not going to die just do a 180 turn and fall back so you can save your shift for when the hog actually does you know they break your shield trying to look for a hook um so just be aware of you know everything that's being used so you don't just waste your abilities on useless stuff um, since Arissa is pretty slow and uh you need to save it for when you actually do need those um so the big thing is uh, shield management you want to try and place your shield, like you want to hold chokes with the least amount of visibility to the enemy team while still giving like the most visibility to like your team. So the way how you do this is angled shields. So let's say this is, you know, the choke point. You want to try and put your shield like angled a little bit. So it's still covering all amount, like, you know, this amount of space. So you can still play here. You're not, you know, being in front of your DPS, they can still frag. Um, and this makes it so if we're looking at a choke point, it's not as whatever shown um if you just have your shield out in the front like this it, you have all this freaking extra space freaking push your shield to break so as much as you can you just want to try and you know play angle shields um makes it so their dps has to go out of position to uh 
to your shield to actually get damage and make sure it makes your shield like not break as fast um, which goes into the next thing of like doing like double double shields so before the round starts or if they just have a really low damage comp they're not focusing your shield make sure to always try and have double shields this just allows you to contest space even longer and uh you never have to worry about dying pretty much um so say your you know shields up round's about to start you have like two seconds so two seconds to go hey just do that extra jump it gives extra space um by the time like you know your shield's down you can see it landed my shield's already on three second cooldown so if that shield does end up breaking then you just put a new the new shield up and you effectively have three shields so you put your first one a couple seconds before the round starts shoot another one up in the air um after that one breaks you have you have three shields there you go and that pretty much like sets you up to have a higher chance of winning that first fight and you know we all know that that first fight almost like you know dictates how the round's gonna go because people get tilted and stuff if you just get insta wipe so make sure you're doing those uh double shields as much as you can and you know that'll give you a lot more success with the with the Arisa. um let's see make sure you're um comboing your orbs and call uh what you're doing with it this is the most important and like impactful ability with Arisa. so use it smartly you can pull enemies like off high grounds um if you do want to see there you are so you can see like you know enemies coming you can pull them off a high ground um which is pretty strong um you can do like under bridges so you can pull them from behind the bridge which a lot of people don't expect um, just try and like think of like creative ways to use your halt ability while still telling your team what you're trying to do with it um you can pull them above cover if you do have snipers and you know they're a Zen's playing like you know behind a box thinking he's all like sneaky or behind like a tree or something you can be like hey widow I'm gonna go for a pull on their Zen and then he's like okay yeah I'm ready and then he's like lining up the shot and you know while you go and shoot over there you pull up into the air and you know widow has a freaking free shot on the Zen and you get a pick and you win the fight so try and think of and like look at look for those type of uh proactive like plays with Arisa don't just use it defensively all the time um that'll let you just you know keep holding those first points like way uh way longer um so you want to combo hooks you can combo dragging combo pulls you can combo deal bomb pretty much like any freaking offensive ability you can freaking combo with orbs which is pretty awesome so call for that stuff if you're versing like high mobility heroes kind of like genji tracer you want to shoot your orb at the ground um so i'll just show you like i'm spamming right click and it took that long for it to detonate you know and we all know by that time you again you could have freaking deflected the orb chasers blinked away so if you're facing those and they're really close just shoot at the ground you'll then faster and you get those freaking free free shots on them um because if the chaser did just blink next to you the orb radius um even if, even if she blinks one blink isn't enough and you should get pulled back to the center so you know you can just sit there and spam um where your Arisa pull is and either make her force recall or she's gonna insta die so make sure you're against those you're looking to um just shoot the ground since it does then a faster same with like winston jumps and like diva stuff like that wait for like, if they're looking for like an engagement you see them coming try and pull them like out in the open like from off high ground because divas will usually use all their defense matrix while they're pushing up towards you so just wait be patient they all jump on top of you and then after they had just landed in the other matrix just be like okay well see you later and you can just pull them right off uh, the high ground that they just dove on and there you go you friend just effectively negated like their whole push um, so next thing i'm going to go into is how to use bongos so the only time you really want to use bongos is when you have a full shield or you're about to place a new one um depending on you know the fight and what all sammy team has because if you already put a shield up, it's at like 200 HP, and then you decide just to bongo, they're just going to break shield and bongo, and then it's useless. So make sure you always have at least one brand new shield um, to be able to protect your bongo. Um, the best way to use bongo is you put it behind cover. So, you know, you can use it right here. It's still LSing all your DPS. It's safe no matter what, even if your shield breaks. And if they try and throw a diva bomb or something like that, easy. You know, you can put a shield to protect it um, while still, you know, protecting all your um friends and stuff like that from the diva bomb um because any good diva knows that 
right when you put a new shield, you have no cooldowns, where there's not really much space for you to go, and plus they get value no matter what because they're killing bongos. So make sure you have, make sure if they have a deal bomb, you're not putting shield first because they're just gonna shoot it right past, and you know, GG, there you go. You're kind of screwed. Um, so you can use bongos behind cover, you can use it behind the payload. If you're gonna, if you're, like snowballing a point on payload make sure you put the bongo on like the back side of the payload because it's like whatever the payload is like a square with like a little top part if you put it on the top it's easy shots if you put it in the front that's like the worst spot no matter what and if you put it but if you put it in the back it's still high enough to where it still gives your dps and you um the damage boost while it's not being as you know open to shots and stuff to get dead so um Make sure you're putting it like you know, in spots where you know it's not gonna get killed as fast, so you get the most value out of it. Um, look to combo. You can combo dragon blades. You can combo freaking dragons. Pretty much any offensive with a bongo. Um, you can support like your DPS and a frag anymore. Um, the best way to do a combo dragon is you want to coordinate with your Tonzo, and he needs the dragon first. This is because when you see, once you see the dragon going, you can pull them into it. Like I say, dragon middle. Now you pull them, and then it's that damage is all there at once. Um, if you do the pull ability first, you run the risk of him shooting the dragon in a different spot, um, or the damage is not enough. Because right when you get the pull, they already landed, and then the dragon comes, so you only get like a second into the damage, right? Um, so if you pull, if you do it second, you have that the whole. Um, damage from a dragon and stuff like that but for blade you want to pull first so we can see like if you pull them all in the middle so we can get that dash so it depends on like you know what um offensive it's being used but try and use your like halts you know super proactive on any of those type of dps ults because you know it's there might as well use it, it gives you a higher chance of winning and uh yeah just use all her abilities to like you know the best of she can be um so we'll go into some general tips for, for this meta, just so you know. Um, you want to recognize what your wound condition is for every fight, as, um, as always, um, and think about what the enemy wound condition is, so so you know how not to you know play into their hand. So if you're running like you know a sniper comp, um, then you're playing slow. You're trying to make space for your DPS frag. Since you are Arissa, you don't want to like hard engage unless you do have a pick. Um, since you want to try and take those long range fights, you have a gun. You're not you know Reinhardt. You don't have a hammer. Uh, you don't have a disengagements like Winston and stuff so right when you place a shield and you know go you're effectively you know this is your spot um, try and call like you know hook combos always call the focus enemy shields um, when you're playing Arissa because if you can break the enemy shield even if it's Arissa if it's a Rhine that's how you win as Arissa because if you break a shield then you have free hook combos uh, you have free pulls you can you know combo you know if you don't have even if you don't have a hook you can still combo with Zen right click you can still combo widow shots all that stuff so you see new shield place hey everybody focus uh, focus the shield down that's what you need to be doing as Arissa to um, win those uh, exchanges um, if you're facing like a Ryan Zarya where brick comp everybody everyone likes to freaking run, run goats these days um, you would need to save your pull ability for when they are trying to hard engage um, or you know you want to try and stay high ground as much as possible but you know if you're not then you see them engaging you want to try and pull up and back the reason for why you want to do up and back is because it push, it pulls them up so by you have extra time as it's coming down to you know back up get a new position as well as when they hit the ground you know they're slowed um, if you just put it out in the front like this then um, it's not really going to do much like they get half a second of whatever slow and like you know pull so the best way up and back um, look for that um, this also you know makes it so you know even if it does get like whatever matrix diva is looking up in the air and she's not looking at you know a widow or something like that that can get those free shots pretty much you're just trying to mate buy as much time as possible for your dps to frag um, against those type of comps as Arissa. so you know try and run get high ground put yourself in you know like a corner or something like that try and make it so you can survive the longest and that's pretty much how you're gonna win um but yeah i think that about covers almost all like the general tips so make sure you have a mic combo 
with halts as much as possible. Um, just let your need, team know what you need, if you need Matrix, if you need, you know, any of that type of stuff. Um, don't be afraid, just to, uh, you know, ask your team for help, or if you don't need help on like an old track or something like that for a Diva Bomb, just be like, hey, you know, what are the enemy ults looking like? So you can try and make plays and stuff like that. I mean, I guarantee you'll have way more success. Uh, so yeah, I think that uh, kind of wraps up, you know, this basic Arista guide. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed it and learned something new. As always, if you do have any questions, um, you can feel free to ask me during one of my Twitch streams or on my Discord, um, which I'll leave in the description, and I'll be happy to explain any questions uh, you may have there. So thanks again uh, for watching, and until next time, peace out, guys.